Hello students. In this video, we will be discussing about divergence of a vector. Divergence of a vector is denoted by del dot vector f or divergence of vector f. So divergence of f or divergence of f is now if i write the definition of this is do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z now if we look at the definition of del we have now assuming that del is similar to a vector if we look at do by do x i cap plus do by do y j cap plus do by do z k cap dot vector f is f1 i cap plus f2 j cap plus f3 k cap now this is the definition of divergence if we look at the second line that we have written now the result here that we have got on the right hand side looks similar to a dot product but remember this is not a vector it is a vector differential operator but the but the definition of divergence looks similar to dot product of this therefore we make use of the symbol del dot vector f in vector calculus the symbols play a very significant role in representation a dot or a cross if it is misplaced it can give you a totally different meaning and hence have to, one has to be very careful related to that we'll consider an example now we'll consider this example find the divergence of 2x squared z i cap minus xy squared z j cap plus 3y z squared k cap now divergence of vector f is given by sum of the partial derivative of the components so we have do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z now here f1 is 2x squared z f2 is minus x y squared z and f3 is 3 y z squared so do f1 by do x is 4 x z do f2 by do y is minus 2 xyz and do f3 by do z is 6 yz so what we observe is each of the component is different partially differentiated with respect to the corresponding variable and then the sum is taken so divergence at any point xyz is given by sum of these partial derivatives so we need divergence at 1 1 so divergence of vector f at 1 1 1 will be 4 minus 2 plus 6 that is 8 so divergence of a vector is always a scalar we 
consider another example divergence of e power y sin x cos z i car e power minus y sin y cos z j car plus z squared e power z k car now divergence of vector f is do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus 2f3 by do z now f1 is e power y sin x cos z so do f1 by do x is e power y cos x cos z similarly f2 is e power minus y sin y cos z now to find do f2 by do y there are two factors with y therefore we have to apply the product rule so cos z is a constant here into minus e power minus y sin y plus e power minus y into cos y now f3 is z squared e power z therefore do f3 by do z equal to 2z e power z plus z squared e power z now we substitute now we substitute the partial derivatives in the definition so we get divergence of f is equal to e power y cos x cos z plus plus cos z into e power minus y into cos y minus sin y plus z e power z into 2 plus z so this will be the divergence of the vector given suppose f is a is a physical quantity then divergence of f is the rate at which the physical quantity is leaving that point and hence it is no surprise that the name is divergence something that is leaving now what happens if divergence of f equal to 
it means the rate of entry is equal to the rate of exit in such a case we call f to be a solenoidal vector now the next example show that vector f given by yz minus x squared i cap plus 4y minus z squared j cap plus 2xz minus 4z k cap is solenoidal now f is solenoidal implies divergence f equal to 0 so to show that so the first step is to find divergence f which by definition is do f by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z now f1 is yz minus x squared so do f1 by do x is minus 2x f2 is 4y minus z squared x which implies do f2 by do y is 4 f3 is 2xz minus 4z implies do f3 by do z is equal to two x minus four. Now we substitute the definition substitute these partial derivatives in the definition of divergence. So we get divergence of f is equal to minus two x plus four plus 2x minus 4 which is 0 since divergence of the vector is 0 we have f is equal to f is a solenoidal vector Now, if you remember from the concept of uh, electrical or electronic class where we call the solenoidal which is if the length of the coil is much larger than the radius of the coil then we call such a coil as solenoid and we here we see that the rate of entry if it is equal to the rate of exit we call such a vector as solenoidal vector the name given to each of the physical concepts here in vector calculus has a reason behind it